in this lesson we're going to be talking about sharps, flats, and naturals. So hopefully you already understand all of the white notes and how they work, what their letters are, and how it repeats A through G and all that stuff. If all that's really comfortable for you, then you're ready for the black notes. This is how it works. Um, this note right here, the one that's right below a group of two black notes, this white note right here, is a C. If we are to take that note and just go up just a tiny bit from here up to that note, not even all the way up to the next white note, but just from there, up to there. This one is called C sharp. So sharps mean that you go up. So whenever you see a C sharp, that means that you're going to go to C, but don't play C. Play the note that's right above C. So a C sharp is different than a C. This is a C. This is a C sharp. So for example, this one right here then, this one would be a D. If we saw the, the symbol D sharp and we want to play a D sharp, we would not play D, but we'd go to D and go to the note right above it. That's going to be a, a D sharp. Now, this one right here is an F, so that means that that one right there is an F sharp. That's a G, G sharp. That's an A, A sharp. And those are your five black notes, if we call them sharps. Now, they all have another name as well, and that is flat. So flat's the opposite of sharp. Sharp goes up, and flat goes down. So uh, flat, like a flat tire, goes down, right? So then uh, this note right here is D. We already talked about uh, D sharp, which is the note right above D. But then if we, if we want D flat, then we can take D and just go down a little bit, and we land on that note right there, which is D flat. That is also, of course, C sharp, because that's C, that's C sharp, that's D, that's D flat, same note. So we, we call C sharp and D flat N harmonic equivalents and harmonic equivalents. Um, and so that just means that they're, they sound the same. If I play a D flat and I play a C sharp and you're not looking at the piano, uh, it sounds like the exact same note. Even if you are looking at the piano, it sounds like the exact same note, uh, but they have two different names. So uh, then there's also these other spaces right in here where uh, there's no black note, right? So we go like, let's say we wanted an E sharp. So we go up to E, we go A, B, C, D, E, this is an E, and we want E sharp. It's not there. The closest note that we have to E is this one right here. So this note actually right here is an E sharp, which is terribly confusing because it's also F, F natural, F regular, right? So this is F. It's also E sharp because it's the next note over. Uh, we can take F and we go F flat. Of course, we end up with F. Well, we want to go down to here. There's no note there. This is the next note down. So E is also F flat. Same thing happening between the B and the C. This is a, a B, this is a B sharp, also known as C, and then this is a, a C, and this would be a C flat, also known as B. So those are also enharmonic equivalents. B natural and C flat are enharmonic equivalents. And of course, natural just means regular, old, plain, no sharps, no flats, no nothing fancy, just C natural, D natural, E natural like that. We also have one more set of notes that you might run into occasionally, and that is double sharps and double flats. Now, if you feel really comfortable with sharps and flats, this is really no different. This is D, this is D sharp, then this one is D double sharp. This one's D, this is D flat, this is D double flat. D triple flat, quadruple flat, you know, theoretically you can go on, on as far as you want. So you can have a ton of notes as an harmonic equivalents. For example, this note right here would be D sharp, it would also be E flat, it would also be F double flat, it would also be C, one, two, three, triple sharp. So there's a bunch of name, different names for this note right here. But uh, anyway, that's sharps and flats and naturals. Good luck, have fun.